Good evening, guys. Welcome to the live stream of Cricket 22, the Nets Challenge. Uh, good evening, Chinmay. Good evening, Rudra. Thanks for joining the stream. Hey, Chandrasekhar. Thank you for joining the stream. So I put in a community post. I'm giving away uh, one code for PlayStation Cricket 22 Nets Challenge. Let me know who wants it and why I should give it to you. So put in the comments saying that why do you want it or why do you deserve it. And uh, let me know. If you want, just say I need and just mention why you need it. Hi Techno Pushkar Gaming. Hi King Polo. Hi Waji. Ahmed. No, the uh, the code is for PlayStation, so you can use it for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. And uh, there's been some news about Cricket 22. Um, it's been delayed to 2nd of December, so there's more time you will have to spend on uh, the nets or in the nets. Uh, so I'm sure everybody, whoever's here, would be aware of it by now. So because of the uh, incident with Tim Payne, we we have heard a uh, couple of days back that he's resigned from captaincy of Australia. And then uh, he's in the cover for the game. And he's the captain of Australia uh, based on the early code. So Big Ants needs time to redo the whole thing, the cutscenes, the lineups, and even the cover photo for the game as well. The cover art for the game as well. Hey Kiran, hey Kiran G. They need to remove, yeah, they need to remove Payne from the uh, the lineup, and probably from the nets as well. He's there in the nets as well, so that's what it is. So it's a little bit of a sad news for all of us who's been waiting for the game. Whoa, good ball. So, that is one. But I also would want to go through uh, some of the details we've got from the from the interview, from the videos we have seen so far. So, majority of the work I think this time they have spent is on career mode and the online mode. So, the online mode looks like they put more effort this time with the uh, the online league so it's going to take two weeks so once the game releases it's going to take another couple of weeks for the for the online mode to be released so i'm not sure how it will work out with this delay so i think after the game releases it might take another another week for the online mode to be released but yeah sad news for every one of us but it's just a week away and uh, we should probably have a better game in our hands so Tim Payne is no longer there so I think it's going to be either I think it's mostly going to be Pat Cummins who's going to be the captain for Australia or maybe one of the batsmen they're going to make so not sure but I think it's more more likely it is going to be Pat Cummins. Hey, Kiran. So I put in a poll as well, so we might switch games uh, based on that. But generally, our discussion is going to be uh, on Cricket 22. Steve Smith should get another chance. Yeah, he deserves another chance. At least in tests, he should. I think I'm going to shift to Nets batting game. So at least, I'm not sure. I haven't played this for quite some time. Uh, so we'll change the uh, the settings here. Put it on saturate. Uh, going to bat with pro controls. Difficulty, I'm going to put it on legend. Oh, 
Whoa. Okay, I went with the uh, the arcade control. So yeah, online mode is going to be interesting, especially how they have designed it. Uh, but one thing I feel is there'll be two online mode. Uh, one would be the the online leader board where you will have to select your team from the uh, pool of licensed players like for example you will have like uh, 10 crore rupees if i'm giving a comparison and then with that 10 crore you will have to buy buy the team so you can't spend all your money and have all the best players in the side instead you will have to like mix and match like how the ipl budget and we uh, how it happens so same way you will have the complete list of licensed players and each player will have a their own kind of value to it and then you will have to utilize your budget to get your team set up your team and then you will go online play against uh, all the other players across the globe and then as you win you get more money and then you can spend on better players or better skills or upgrading the skills for your players so the online mode it's going to be very good if they are able to get all the bugs fixed which is there in the online mode right now and then they are able to format it they are able to design it well then it's going to be very interesting online mode is something which i'm really interested to see how it would be in the new game i don't see much of a buzz um, when i look at social media and all the forums but i think people who plays multiplayer games are going to be really thrilled and uh, most of them are looking forward to that yeah it's going to be interesting uh, so i don't know how they're going to track it but uh, based on the weekly challenges cricket 19 they're able to track it properly though there are some bugs there they're able to track your weekly scores and rank them and then give you points bronze silver and gold and things like that so if they're able to track it the same way i think it's going to one thing it's going to bring this online aspect of the game into the limelight second thing it's also going to give longevity to the game uh, people are going to continue playing the game uh, as long as it begins continue to support the game as well so it's something which i'm looking forward to uh, and I, I don't think much people play the the weekly challenges in cricket 19 but i feel it's it's very interesting as well uh, especially competing with other people across the world you don't know who they are but you know they have scored really well yeah i like it I, I i make sure that i play all the three challenges because you sh at least you should give it an attempt regardless of what you score because if you don't play you're not going to get anything but if you play you sh you will at least get some points which is going to add up and then you will rank up the leaderboard so i think on playstation i'm at 24 or 23 i missed a few weeks uh because of obvious reasons um, but it's something if you guys haven't tried it out if you have cricket 19 go ahead uh, and try out the weekly online challenges not much has been spoken about uh, in any of the youtube channels i don't see much buzz around it but it's something which is really interesting if you if you guys have only few few hours in a week then i think that would be some more you want to check out hi zubair bro give me pc no it's on playstation i'm giving away the nets code so anyone who has a playstation just let me know in the comment section let me know why i should give the code to you but yeah definitely you will get a feel of how this new game is and then you will be able to play it uh, I think it's going to continue after the game releases as well. If not, till the release of the game, you will be able to play it. So yeah, coming back to the, the discussion on on the online mode. Um, yeah, the weekly challenges is definitely something. I think there are a set of people who continues to play it on a weekly basis. Um, so some of them are at the top of the table by huge margin. And then there are few people who are playing okay so i'm gonna look at this i don't know what's happened to this leaderboard is it gonna come in yeah it's, it's taking time 
so this is weekly i'm gonna try and see who's at the top here there is destiny in nz so it looks like destiny some new zealand user i think did the points get did the points get okay this is weekly i'm gonna get to the total okay i'm at 114 here hey sage bait hi sniper shan thank you for joining the stream hope you guys are doing good so i'm gonna check who's at the top so uh, I think the sad part is in the leaderboard only reflects who's playing on the same platform. So I'm playing on PS4 or PlayStation or PS5, and I think I can only see who's who's done well um, in the same platform. So uh, Rocky by Rocky by 25th, 16,668. I don't know how many days he's taken that to get there. Hey Kunal, hey sniper. Your f highest score is 40. My highest score is somewhere around 388. I think it was on one of the live streams. But 16,668 is crazy. It's like, it's unbelievable. So yeah, this is just one part of it. I think this is okay. I think it was fun in the beginning to see, but 16,000 is too crazy. So similarly, the weekly challenge is the online mode is something interesting i'm not sure why people aren't talking about that m not much about it but definitely i think it's going to get the popularity when the online league actually comes in it's going to be interesting what are you giving in that giveaway yeah i put in a community post i'm giving away the nets code so i have one extra uh, for now i'm giving away the code um, for all those who are on PlayStation, they can utilize it. So if anybody wants the code, let me know in the comment section. Give me a reason why. And then I'll, I'll choose and give away. Hope he doesn't get out on zero when he actually plays the game. Whom, whom are you referring to? So, yeah, the other one I wanted to discuss is the career mode. Career mode, um, there's a lot of work done, but a uh, lot of the work which is done is more or less catering to uh, younger fans or probably people who likes all those gimmicks. I don't think it is bad. I have a PS4, so am I eligible? Yes, you are, Sniper Shan. So anybody who has a PlayStation, let me know in the comment section. <laughs> 16K guy, yeah. No, he, he should be good. It's it's not easy. It isn't easy at all. Maybe 1,000, I might say, yeah, he's done something somehow. But 16,000, I don't know. I don't know how long it's taken for him. I don't know. If, if you have the budget, Kunal, I think it's better to go for a gaming PC. It also depends upon if you want to play PS5 uh, exclusives. Um, yeah, but even the exclusives are coming on Steam these days. So they're releasing it for PC. So if you have the budget, the initial investment to assemble a PC, go for it. I want a code, but not for myself. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Anybody, uh, yo, yo, you can do whatever you want with the code. Yeah, your best friend if he's on PlayStation, yeah. So the second one is the, the career mode. And... Uh, yeah, I might announce it within a day or two, I'm thinking before. It's actually, I will give away probably during the the actual launch date, which is 25th, which the game is supposed to. I think I'll give it away there. Then people will have, whoever gets it will have a week's time to play. I think within a week he's going to get bored as well. Or he or she, whomsoever gets it. Online cross-platform. Yeah, Gareth. Uh, did ask that question so I had asked him look um, Gareth had actually posted on uh, planet cricket in terms of what questions needs to be asked and I did post a bunch of questions and he picked a few of them or quite a few of them I guess and then we had a chat as well 
on uh, what are the questions which needs to be asked so one of the question i wanted him to ask was this um, cross play i don't think he he doesn't play much online so um, i have played quite a few and then i've been playing the online challenges so that's one question i wanted him to ask and i hope ba can do something but it's not in their hands this i think they need to do a lot of convincing with the platform owners like playstations uh, xbox and pc it's not going to be easy but they said they're going to do at least cross gen so if somebody is on ps4 they can play with ps5 and somebody is on xbox the older version they can play in the new series x i think they're going to start with that and then probably they're going to have cross play eventually but cross play is going to be important if they're going to get if they're going to focus on multiplayer and online aspect fifa 20 is available but it's not showing showing 1800 not sure about that man i think there should be some black friday thanksgiving uh, deals which is going to come up so you probably might want to check again so coming back to the career mode uh, i don't know what what aspect of it has uh, interested you guys the most but i think there's some good uh, inclusions and there's some uh, okay okay and then some laughable ones as well um, so the uh, the player of the match seems good and the payout I think they're going to do something with the money you get like you should you would be able to do with the payouts and especially if you're player of the match you get thousand dollars and then I think you will be able to buy bats or sponsors or spend on um, physios or doctors I don't know what and all you can purchase where and all you can spend but i think that's another good aspect online play better earn better and then buy better stuff uh, how's your experience in far better it's 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 but it's definitely better than cricket 19. the batting gameplay so far is better um I like the new layout it looks modern the other ones looks like it's from 1990s but this one looks like it's current generation the player model looks looks good um, yeah the play model looks better than cricket 19 I'm not sure if it's in ashes cricket they look a bit fat um, and this one looks better actually it looks better there's better lighting uh, the RTX is another inclusion HDR I think they're done better this time and everything looks more detailed right now I've oh, hey. right now I've turned off HDR because the uh, live stream in YouTube doesn't look good with HDR on but if you're playing on PS5 you need to you need to turn on HDR and the ray tracing has made the game look better now right now when I go back to Cricket 19 it looks everything looks so dark it looks like it's like four or five year old game also career mode looks better than cricket 19 ah uh, i don't know they they haven't shown much of a gameplay um, i'm waiting to see gameplay uh, the cutscenes looks okay okay it looks like ao tennis but it's not bad it's better than what we have in cricket 19 yeah that's one way of looking at it and then um, yeah what i was talking about is all those new additions if they can actually include that in some kind of okay gokul i'm going to come back to that in a minute your question yeah but what i was saying if they can actually include that implement it really well it's going to be really good again it's going to help with the longevity people have been playing career mode with how it is at the moment people have spent a lot of lot of hours the guys who play online they play only online and the guys who play offline they only play offline that's what the trend i've seen and in terms of offline uh, i've seen people who play only career mode and then i play, i see people who play um, only like uh, play now or competition or just play ashes things like that what do you think a little tall and thin i think we're used to seeing that uh, player model from uh, cricket 19 and ashes cricket ashes cricket look too fat uh, cricket 19 looks too short uh, this looks a little bit thin but 
I think it's fine. It looks better. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's definitely better. What is the exact reason for Cricket 22 release postponed? Okay. The reason is, two days back, there was a news which got leaked or which uh, came out saying that Tim Payne has resigned from the captain's position due to an alleged uh, scandal. Uh, you can read more about the scandal online. So that's what it is. And because of which, the Cricket 22, uh, Tim Payne has been listed as the captain. He's in the cover art. He's in the main splash screen. And I suppose he's also in most of the cutscenes because he's the captain. He probably would be handing over the uh, the cap once you become part of the Australian team he'll be handing over the cap so they need to redo all those things and I think they couldn't change it on time I think the three or four days time which was there for big ants to make the changes wasn't enough so they had to spend more time so they're going to do it I am really not sure about the physical disc cover picture because it would have been already printed packaging everything would have been done even the logistics part would have been done so I'm not sure how much they can recall them and change it. But one good thing though is uh, the uh, the physical copy outside of Australia, everybody gets the international edition. So it's going to be the same. It's only going to be a matter in Australia, the physical copy printing and swapping them. But otherwise, I think outside is going to be fine. I think majority of their work is going to go in patching all these things which they have done and I expect them to probably change Tim Payne here I don't think it matters for them because Tim Payne is still in the squad or he's still part of the squad as of now he's just not a captain that's the only thing but they can't ask the retailers to change the cover it's it comes wrapped right it comes wrapped sealed in their PlayStation uh, cover or the Xbox cover who's gonna t who's gonna take the headache of taking out and then who's going to buy if it's already opened so the as i said one good thing is outside of australia it doesn't matter because it's um joe root and i don't know heather knight in the cover picture so it doesn't matter for that uh, for them it, they can continue with that it's only the ones which they would have shipped within australia or i don't know about new zealand yeah maybe new zealand as well but mainly australia so Gokul, I hope you've uh, you understood now why it is. But if you want to know more about why Tim Payne isn't in the squad, you can check online. They will provide an alternate cover. Yeah, that's what I read yesterday. Uh, in the initial conference they released, they said they're going to give people the option. They're going to send them. Uh, uh, a soft copy and then people can print out and then put it but it's it sounds so silly but and so not sure now why did they why did they decide I, I don't think they're going to change the physical copy i still feel it's only going to be the patch which they need more time and the patch um i feel like the patch does require more time because the game itself they would i don't think they have had enough time to get everything right well, there's some issues here. If you look at Joe Root's helmet, there's a, there's a patch there. There's some issues with the bowling actions, at least Pat comments, I can say. Yeah, but I think I think it's good. Overall, it's fine. For me also, it's fine. Actually, 25th and 26th, I have work, so I wouldn't be able to play, but now I will be able to play uh, once the game is out. So that's that way, it's good. And I think the more time they have, the better it is. Random players instead. No, they, they'll definitely put the captains. If if you have option, for example, BCCI, BCCI makes a game and they say, select two players whom you want to put it on the cover. Whom they're going to choose? Captain and vice captain, right? Why would they put Mohamed Siraj and uh, Avesh Khan? Yeah. 
I'm hoping. I, I don't think press conference will be there in quick play matches. I think the um, the player of the match should be there in. Uh, player of the match should be there in quick play. At least they should put that. I mean cricket 24. Can we see physical copy, random players and stuff? Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Even in even if it's the next game, they will still give priority to the captains. They wouldn't put somebody less famous. Is Cricket 22 physical on Nintendo Switch? No, I think it will be a code. Last time also it was a code, which is sad. But I think it's going. they're going to continue that trend. Yeah, Pat Cummins is he's a good guy. I like him and he's a good player as well. But not sure what... Um, Cricket Australia would decide, but I think it's more likely it's going to be Pat Cummins. And Biggins already has his uh, Cummins as well. So whoever it is, I'll I'll uh, reach out and then get the email address and then provide the code. That's it. It's just a nine-digit code. Whoever has purchased uh, retail copy, they would be getting it via email. So it's a nine-digit code. You can enter it in your account and then you can download and play. It's pretty simple. So so going back to the career mode, there's a lot of new things added. We just we just touched the surface. So yeah, the first part was press conference. And main thing about the press conference is where to reach out. No, whoever wins, I will reach out. I'll put a community post saying that. Do give me your email address or I'll give my email address, my communication email address. I have one for, okay, let's go on. So I have one for uh, YouTube email communication. So I've hold, uh, I've held contest there. So I'll give the email address and then you can email, whoever wins can email. Rose tweeted, December 2 is the exact date of release out doubt, further delays. What's your thoughts, bro? Give me a minute while I sip my tea. Okay, if you guys if you guys remember in uh, Garrett's uh, interview and even in Planet Cricket Forum, they said they are, they are not going to delay the game at all. And all of a sudden, the delay happened. So, I don't think they will delay again. Because ideally they could have just said we, we need two weeks day uh, two weeks time instead of one weeks and then taken and then taken that time. And are they gonna release new gameplay? They will definitely. So we're gonna get one that IGN plays voila uh, video and yeah. What's this? Uh, we should provide or someone may impersonate. Yeah. Yeah, right, right. You can just give a email address. Whoever wins, I'll, I'll say. So going back, yeah, there should be more gameplay videos. And I'm, I'm not sure if uh, I feel like the street date might get broken as well. Because the physical copies, I'm sure it's with the retailers already. Or they might be getting it by now. So I think... There will be some retailers who's willing to sell the game at a bit higher price or they just want to sell it off because they might have extra stock by the end. So that's another thing. So somebody might get the game early. Okay, defensive shot and I got a point. Yeah, and then somebody might just start streaming. Like every year it has happened. I think somebody's got the game early and they've streamed. I don't know, but PS graphics looks better than PC. No, it depends upon what configuration you're comparing it with. Uh, I think if you look at all, if you put it to max, everything, I don't think PS5 will be able to compare. But if you want to config or configure something at that level, you'll have to spend a lot. Another thing that... Uh, 
Ross had said that they might not release uh, future cricket games on PC. So that's another thing you might want to keep in mind as well. You never know what's going to happen and I don't trust uh, what what would happen even if people say I'm not going <coughs> to step for winning giveaway. So yeah, so that's yeah, I'll just come to that. So just just put a comment saying that I need a code. I'm on if you're on PlayStation just say I need the code and this is the reason why you should give to me. So that's important. So say I need it and this is why you should give to me. So coming back to the PS5 and PC uh, discussion, so there could be a chances that the next game might not be on PC. So th that's the only risk which you will be taking. Like a stick and not tall like Ashes and Cricket 19. They are tall. I think they're taller than Cricket 19. They don't look like stick. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure why would, why would you say that. The helmets look better, way, way better. The helmets were humongous in cricket 19 and looked made it look like big heads but this time i like it i feel like it looks way better i think once we get to see the actual game the final build i think we're gonna see it's gonna look good hmm okay I won't be able to play the next game if it's not won't be carrying PlayStation to university in 2023. No, just concentrate on studies. Probably you can after after university you can get one. Yeah, it's it's for PlayStation uh, users. I'm giving away the Nets code, so whoever wants the code um, can just mention that I need the code and give me a reason as well. So not just not just I need the code, just put in a reason. Let's let's make it fun and interactive. So I also have a reason why I should choose somebody over the other. <coughs> Did I miss any chat? I'm just going to go quickly see if I missed any chat. Yeah, so I'm going to go back to the career mode discussion because there's a lot of stuff which has come out in the last uh, last week and a half. So, yeah, press conference is one and the main part of the press conference is the press is going to ask you questions and then you will have four, four uh, choices and then you select one and I don't know how it's going to impact the gameplay. Um, but I think it's going to... Yeah, it's going to impact something or the other. Maybe the next question is going to uh, matter. Like the question which Virat Kohli had saying that, do you think Ishan Kishan can replace Rohit Sharma? And then Virat Kohli replies, uh, do you really think Virat, uh, Rohit Sharma can be replaced? Helmet strip is there in 22. I am not able to see one right now. I think they're going to add copy paste of AO tennis I just saw a glimpse of AO tennis uh, press conference um, but at least it's just time pass I think it's just gonna be there like the drinks break we have in cricket 19 we were like oh drinks break oh national anthem national anthem was good so like that it's gonna be there people are gonna like maybe there's some 10 20 questions I don't expect more than that I, I wish they can add some question creator or something So that's what it is, and but the uh, the main one is the player of the match. I think that's going to be interesting, and I hope they put it in the the play now mode as well, all the other modes as well in Ashes, in uh, CPL. Okay, it's hit Anderson's boot, and it's on the uh, what's the other one? CPL, Big Bash League, hundred. I think they should include it in everything. I hope they'll put that at player of the match in all the modes. I think it should be there. Maybe the price money wouldn't matter in other modes, but at least just that presentation is going to be good. And I get, I hope they get the player of the match correct this time because with Cricket 19, they, uh, the other issue was the player of the match used to be like 
like the weightage was given to the bowlers like somebody scored 90 and somebody takes three wicket that bowler gets a player of the match so i hope they get it right first of all and then they get they have it everything in all them all the modes as well what do you think of the physics yeah yeah i've spoken about it already the player physics for me it looks better in cricket 22 cricket 19 i didn't like it at all ashes cricket at least okay but everyone looked a little bit too fat okay so going back to the um, the career mode the other one was the gym training so you have to work out in the gym to do well in the game as well so that's that's silly uh, but again it's another time pass which is going to be there uh, maybe you're not able to play well in the ground and then you need to improve on some of the attributes physical attributes and then you'll have to spend time in the gym to work out and then improve on and then it'll it'll see that improving your batting or bowling or fielding in game as well so yeah it's good it's a good addition something which is gonna yeah be interesting for a little while i hope they can get the mini games right otherwise it's going to be silly i think cricket 22 is a mixture of 17 and 19 yeah i do feel as well and the ball physics is better in 22 yeah that's another thing it feels better the the bat flow feels better um, the ball the feel itself and the sound as well the sound of the bat hitting the ball also is good so overall the nets is a good up upgrade from cricket 19 you can't say anything unless we play it in the ground because this is nothing but based if i have to make a verdict based on just the nets it's way better it's way better and i think it's it's going to be an upgrade by the way I, tell what do you do for earning i work in it that's all i can say when is academy coming so i was expecting the academy to be out this week because uh, ross tweeted that the creator tool is going to be out part of the nets uh, demo or nets whatever this is pre-order so not sure why it's taking long that's another one they said and then i didn't hear anything uh, for that matter they said the nets are going to be updated every week until release and i don't think we have got any update pc guys i haven't got any update uh, console guys got it um, and um, hey i didn't play that shot yeah console guys got it because they had to include uh, the Australian players part of the nets. That's the only thing. What is the giveaway? Giveaway is a nets code for PlayStation for Cricket 22. So whatever I'm playing right now, you guys can play it. But in order to win the giveaway, you need to mention if you need one first of all, and then why you need the code. Cutscene, Ashrit. It's it's gonna get boring after a while, man. Cutscene. How many how many times you've Watch the cutscene for uh, drinks break in cricket 19. Yeah, impact of the ball physics. Yeah, it is good. And how many times you watch the highlights package? The highlights package was a. Uh, it's a waste. It's a waste of resource. They should have spent that resource, time, and effort in something else. The highlights, if they can get it right this time, it'll be great. Yeah, so going back to our discussion on Cricket 22, um, the gym, the gym training, it looks like there's some mini games like you do, uh, you go, you do the weightlifting and then, I know the weight training and then you do the, uh, what was that, you, I forgot the name only, the, the sit-ups or I don't know what it is called, uh, and then I think maybe one or two or three kind of dumbbell exercises and then you just, it's like a rhythm based mini game it looks like. And then you need to meet that rep or count within that time limit so that you earn that. Did it take the edge? Yeah, late and then it went to the edge. Okay, yeah. So that's what it's going to be. And then you get attributes and then it helps you perform better in the game. So I think it will be for people who are struggling in the game. 
I, I hope they make it a little bit difficult to level up, but they don't make it too difficult to get into get the selection. Otherwise, it's going to take ages. That went in the air. Yeah, so that's the second aspect of uh, the academy. The other one is the manager. So it's going looks like the manager is going to play a role here. Uh, it was just that one guy, I don't know, I forgot his name in Cricket 19, just one screen he comes and there's some words written saying that these guys are keeping, they are interested in you, they're getting interested in you, please keep playing the same way so that you get selected. And then sometimes he comes and says, you're selected, if you want to accept, please, please sign on the dotted lines and sign, give it back. And then you accept and then you become the captain or then you join a team. So I think they they are... They've improved on that. You, The actual manager is an actual person or actual player model or model in the game, an NPC. And then you'll have, I think you'll have dialogue strings with him based on what's happening. Got ya. Uh, based on what's happening in terms of your form, in terms of uh, your career, your selection, your role change, and things like that. So manager is going to be important. And there's a locker room as well where you and all your other teammates are going to be there as well. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, I think it's they're going to replicate the same player model from your team. So if you have uh, like Rajesh in your team, uh, in your career mode, and you're going to see Rajesh in your locker room as well. So which is nice. It's a nice addition. And uh, I hope they can we can customize out the manager as well. Because you don't want the same manager regardless of where you chose where you choose to play your career in. So India or Sri Lanka or Pakistan, you you start and then you have uh, Mr. George Bailey as your manager. It doesn't look good. So I hope the manager is customizable as well. Uh, and uh, then there's an honors board. So there's an honors board like in Lords or SCG. I don't know where else it is there. Uh, so there's an honors board. Ba I think it's based on if you take a century or if you take five wickets, you will come on that board. Regular species, how can I enter the giveaway? Just um, so the giveaway is for a Nets code, uh, sorry, Nets challenge code for PlayStation. So if you have a PlayStation or if you know somebody who has a PlayStation, uh, you can be you can make use of it. So let me know if you want one. So say I need a I need the code and also mention that why you need the code. So give me a reason, a good justification on why I should give you the code as well. Yeah, regular species, that's how you enter the code. And then you don't have a PS4. Yeah, PS4, PS5, anything, it's fine. Or if you know somebody who has a PS4 or PS5 and who is looking for this code uh, or looking forward to playing the next challenge, you can earn one for your friend as well. So the manager mode is another one. Yeah, so manager mode or the manager, not the manager mode, the manager edition is another one in this uh, or in Cricket 22 career mode, which is going to make it interesting as well. And then you have the the doctors. I think the doctor would have to do with injuries. I think injuries are going to be a main uh, main part of the career mode in cricket 22 how you manage your injuries because in cricket 19 they did s some of it but they weren't able to completely implement it so i think cricket 22 we're going to see more on more on uh, the uh, the injury part and you managing your injury managing your workload so that's going to be another interesting part and then there's a physio as well so physio doctor, it's going to be for your injuries, your health, your fitness, and then uh, to improve your fitness, it's going to be the gym trainer, and then you have a manager to manage your career, and then the presentations are there so that you fight either, you can either fight and argue with the press, or you can be the nice guy. Probably some, I think it's going to have also that uh, newspaper kind of thing, the media thing as well, it'll, it'll talk about how you are as a player so based on the response i think uh, they're going to do that as well uh, so based on how you respond to the press 
um, yeah so I'm on Twitter you can look me up on Twitter by the same ID that's the only place I am uh, apart from YouTube so YouTube I'm, I'm active on the community section so you'll see me posting stuff whenever I get updates they should improve the match feel like T20 should seating in dugout yeah dugouts would be a nice addition I'm a great fan of you. Thank you, regular uh, species. Thank you. Ah, almost there. So you can follow me on Twitter, and then if you want a message, you can message there. Oh. So career mode is another one. I think we went through almost all the things so the uh, and there is another one in uh, career mode based on the trophy list which uh, was released there's a there's a league there's a league as well in career mode I think you'll have player rankings at least at a tournament level I'm thinking it'll be there I'm not sure at a global level but at least if you're part of a tournament you will have a player ranking and there are trophies for being at the top of the leaderboard there so that's going to be another interesting one so that also will immerse you into the game because it's not just about playing the match you need to play well there's a lot of things at stake uh, so just to start off you will have all your xps and your your player uh, imp increase and improvement like a hit five fours and then you get a amount of xp and then you have the money which you're going to earn from the match and uh, being the player of the match as well and then you have your press conference so if you score 100 or if you score if you take five wickets then you get an opportunity to go into the press conference or probably if you are the captain then you go into it so that's another thing and then you manage your uh, performance in a tournament for the leaderboard the tournament leaderboard because you need to top that as well and then you have your injuries to manage you have your health you have your physique to look after so there's a lot of extra curricular work also happening this time just to not to make the whole career mode monotonous I think they've done really well the thought process is good the thing we need to see here is how the implementation is going to be Because uh, looking at the highlights package, which was there in Cricket 19, it was a good idea, good thought behind it. But the implementation is so bad that I don't think anybody uses that highlights. Directly skip. So that's the career mode. I don't know if I missed any part of the career mode. Um, next part which I'm going to talk about which another one which interests me I don't know mostly most of the people aren't aren't interested is the commentary the commentary has been bad to pathetic in every series every game they have released it's been pretty bad probably cricket 17 Don Bradman 17 was okay but otherwise everything was pretty bad so I'm hoping they are able to correct all the mistakes and it's a whole set of new commentators apart from Mel Jones everybody else is new so I'm looking forward to that so the commentary is another one which I'm looking forward to at least if you can if they can get it right every time and I don't want them to go on speaking at least if they can relay what is there in the what is happening in the game and if the commentators are able to talk through it if a player scores a quick 50 if they can say that or if somebody struggling acknowledge that or if a bowler is bowling well acknowledge that that will be more than enough or, or probably talk about the conditions okay this is the condition this is the pitch condition so pitch report is another one I don't think they have pitch report this time also at least somebody to say through saying that okay this is the conditions it's gonna help these batsmen or these kind of bowlers or it's gonna be difficult to bat second things like that it's also gonna add add value it's gonna 
make it more interesting so that's what commentary so michael atherton david gower uh, ian healy alison mitchell and then uh, mel jones so five commentators uh, compared to three i think we have three and we've been on three last two games i guess two to three games it's been the same so five is superb so that's so it's and that's another change which has been brought in and which i'm looking forward to moving on it's another one which is bowling animations so we see anderson here his this is in brand new animation just for cricket 22 we saw mitchell stark's animation uh, a new animation um, when we saw couple others as well in the women's game and then i think there was one in the stuart broads action as well so that's another new one so based on the interview by mike uh, given by mike he said 10 new animation 10 extra animation so that is in addition to what we have right now and uh, out of that 10 eight is paces and then two is spinners uh, darsh punjabi the giveaway is for uh, the nets challenge code on playstation so if you have playstation and if you're looking to play this cricket 22 nets i have a code which i'm giving away so if you're interested let me know in the comment section and then tell me a reason why i should give the code to you <clears throat> so yeah so commentary i don't know how many of you guys are looking forward to it i normally or initially when i used to play i used to keep the commentary on these days i turn it off but it's because it's that bad but i hope they can get it get it right this time especially with all the new people and i i hope they can get uh, all the indian player name included as well i think some of the key indian players were missing their names were missing in the commentary all right so bowling animation was the other one yeah i was actually talking about bowling animation so two spinners which is very less i feel like there's there's two 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 off spinner and two leg spinner actions at the moment so they've added two more so i'm saying three three it's going to make it but the bowling animation they have increased by eight so we'll ha might have some 13 or i don't know 12 to 13 bowling animations in 22 i think it's 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 quite good and when you mix it with left hand right hand combination it's even better but i think they sh still need to add few more they still need to add few more yes gotham you're right it's not it's not going to release on 25th it's going to release on 2nd of december you're right I'm going to show this 65 touch tang hello sir big fan I want airports I'm staying <laughs> you're giving away cricket 22 I'm giving away cricket 22 nets challenge a code for nets challenge so that you can play the nets challenge till the game comes out I might do a giveaway of the game but that's a later at a later point which I am yet to decide on but for now it's the nets code my backbone fracture sir on <laughs> for how many days how many days are you planning to stay on the fracture so bowling actions i want to see what are the new ones but at least good news is we're getting few more and hopefully they can add some from the new license team as well so there's new zealand they haven't shown yet nothing has been shown apart from saying they're licensed don't know who are the players they have face scanned who are the players they have uh, actions included but hopefully in the future as well one thing about big answers they they do support the game even after release it's not that they just release and they move on they do keeping they do keep supporting it I feel bored now with cricket 19 yeah 
it looks it's very outdated i feel like now i'm i don't have airpods to give i have only nets challenge code to give away so if you need one let me know wow good shot so the other inclusion i think it's a licensed teams so there are five teams i guess so we have australia and england and then we have where we have west indies we have new zealand and then we have ireland so five international teams are licensed this time around which is good and um, we do have the big bash league we have the champions sorry caribbean premier league we have the 100 so there's going to be quite a few licensed players there as well and russia as well yeah sixth team russia has anyone watched any match of russia yeah so russia as well so i don't think it matters though but i think new zealand is the biggest thing this time ireland yeah it's an associate nation so it's okay they need to get the main main teams if they can get south africa sri lanka pakistan i think it'll be huge india there's no way no chance and then there's the uh, women's team as well so there'll be players there as well so i don't know if the online mode is only restricted to men's game or do they allow men and women <laughs> abhijit paul yes that's my expression as well oh good paul i think they will because if they wanted more time it actually they've taken a buffer i feel like they bu- they've taken a little bit of a buffer time as well so that they don't stress their devs because you can expect your employees to work 24/7 because of this so they've taken a little bit of a buffer time so that they can patch it out and i think they might need some time to fix some of the things they might have seen some changes required in the main game as well so they have taken time for that but i think it is coming on second it, i don't think they will uh, delay it anymore i'm going to read that siddarth just a minute they should add future D- dlc i think future dlc is going to come along with new licenses i don't think commentary they will add dlc they might just patch the dlc So what happens is when you have new licenses you get new set of actions and I don't know what is the last point you have mentioned new CU I don't know what is CU So not not sure what you mean by CU Yeah but I think it will come with new licenses or new modes change lists list how many hours ago i think it was early in the morning right pre uh, is it pre order release update i thought they might update something today based on that did they update it after that i think it's 12 hours ago i think that's the one i have seen it in the morning but nothing Okay so that's that's for uh yeah the other topic so I'm I'm trying to figure out what else was announced in fact edged Okay so then then the other one which they announced um pretty early on was the new controls I think it is good I think it's good for people who like playing EA cricket 
and I think it was a big hit that control scheme so bowling wise it is good but I'm not sure about after touch they should have just kept it a new control scheme and not the after touch after touch um, seems like an afterthought and then moving on what was the other one they have um, announced I think the other one is the the batting changes so they have informed the in the in the interview it was mentioned it wasn't yeah I think they're gonna patch that uh, dude 732 gaming I'm gonna call you 732 <coughs> so 732 yeah they, they're gonna patch it I don't think it's a big of an issue uh, but coming back to the batting aspect so they said they have revamped batting they made it more smooth which we can feel we can see the smoothness we can feel the smoothness here in 22 compared to 19 and they're still working on improving the batting they said the cut shots they're improving I think it will be the cut shot to the spinner I think they're gonna change that and probably this uppercut as well uppercut uh, if it's a short ball I'll say I'll play I'm sorry I'll show you guys so I think they might tune some uh, cut shots <coughs> but I think it'll be all for the good and uh, they've they've uh, I think this is the one yeah that's the uppercut but I think it's good I think that's that's it I think it is 60 FPS all the games big hands games are 60 FPS even on console sometimes there's stutters good shot stutters but generally it is pretty good it's 60 fps and it's all good i'm trying to think of the other changes so batting is another one he said mike said they're working on a new grid system so based on what input you've provided where the ball is the animations are going to trigger and it's going to be just one smooth animation they're not mixing and matching animations I guess Tim Payne has caused a lot of pain to everybody I think he's getting he's started getting more curses after cricket 22 has got delayed So moving on, I'm trying to think what else did they announce. Did we cover everything? So yeah, another one is that the online mode doesn't have any microtransactions. So you don't have to buy anything. I think it's all going to be the the point system in, in the game. So the more you win, the more points you get. And with that points, you can buy better players. And then, what the hell? and then you can buy better players and then win more matches and get all the best players in your team I think it will be nice yeah they don't mean to get caught but when they get caught they get emotional did I miss anything else which was announced I'm trying to figure out I'm trying to recollect Yeah, there's the new control for fielding. There's this slow-mo fielding controls which is going to be included this time. It's going to let you choose which end to throw which was already there. But the difference is, do you want to do a direct hit or do you want to give it to the, the person next to the wicket? Do you want to give it in the hands so that he can run him out? Computer UI, UI, is it UI or AI? They should at least have two to three players action from uh, from each licensed team. So that's five into three, 15, 15 actions at least we should have got. I think we have 15, right? Yeah.
Yeah, we are waiting, but Cricket 22 is delayed, correct? Would have been this Thursday. That's like three days from now. Today is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, two days and we would have got it. Now it is nine days. Tenth day, we'll get it. Yeah, the new run-out system it's called. It's not the fielding system, it's just the run-out system. I think it's going to trigger when there's a chance for a run-out. At least they have to release some content. Yes, they have to. I think tomorrow or day after, or at least by 25th, they need to release something. Otherwise, people are going to get mad. They promised update to nets, which has not happened. They said creator tools, it's not happened. The game has got delayed. So, they have to do something here. And even the nets is not free. It's only for people who are pre-ordered. So, I'm, I'm not sure why they would do like this. The academy was free for everyone in the previous, previous iterations. So I'm checking on, okay, there's another one which uh, Mike has spoken about, it's the weather system. So they have captured data, one year's worth of data on weather. So how the weather is in a certain country and they have tried to map it to the stadium. So I think it will be only applicable to licensed stadiums. Oh, that's bold. Licensed stadiums, so that means if you're playing career mode, if you're playing in uh, July in India it's gonna start raining and then it's gonna be cold during November December and then it's gonna be sunny otherwise or if you're playing in England it's gonna rain all the time throughout and the rain the amount of rain is gonna depend on when you're gonna play New Zealand also licensed this time yes lion New Zealand is also licensed We haven't seen anything from New Zealand till now, but... So the weather system is the other one. So it depends upon when you're playing, where you're playing, the rain is gonna, or the weather is gonna change. Which I think is a good thing I hope they are able to implement that also properly and with rain comes Duckworth Lewis system so I hope they can get that right as well based on the rain they need to recalculate the scores and also DRS they haven't spoken anything about all those so this is where the gameplay video is going to be crucial I think there are people who's waiting who's actually waiting for uh, gameplay videos as well so all the diehard fans have actually pre-ordered the game there'll be few who's gonna wait and see the gameplay and some of them are gonna wait for the game to be released and then watch videos and then buy OP Bolte, yes, yes, it is delayed to 2nd December from 25th November. So there's a Twitter handle called Cricket22 Updates. Follow that. It has all the updates, latest news and updates. So another 10 days, yeah, you need to do the countdown again, another 10 days. But if they if they can provide two things, I think two things is enough. One is the ground training and the other one is the academy. If they can give those two, I 
then at least people will pass time why what is the reason for the delay delay is tim pain in one word tim pain is the reason did we cover everything i'm trying to remember what else do we have here to discuss probably check my notes once play advanced shots yes i'll play the next poll next poll i'll play going to check my phone once so we covered most of the things which has been announced we spoke about um career mode we spoke about the online mode uh we spoke about the animations we spoke about um the commentary we spoke about the new license team super features are there in cricket 22 what what are the super features i'm not sure what are the super features what you're talking about um so batting animations we sp uh, spoke about the changes the weather system is another one which we spoke about we touched upon cross play how it's important for the online mode uh, we spoke about career mode uh, the club scenes the club selection yeah i think i, I think it, it will i don't think they will delay it anymore because it's not going to look good at them at all they just took a weeks time because they had to make those changes they had to make those changes in terms of cut scenes and things like that player lineup but it will also help them get more time to work on the game as well so one way it's good are so yeah career career mode is where we have heard a lot of things so gym trainer press conference doctor physio player of the match <coughs> and yeah that's that's mainly what we have heard um let me let me try and look through here the list is that all i feel like we had a big list of things to spoke speak about yeah i think that's that's pretty much it so the graphics playing matches and high yeah the graphics are better because of rtx and everything looks more detailed now which is good uh do you think the license players i think the license players are going to be good this time all the license players will be good good shot and i hope they have updated the creator tool as well they said they made it easier for people who are who doesn't want to spend much of a time in the creator tool it's going to be easier for people there but whoever wants to go in detail look at every a nook and corner they can do that as well advanced options are there as well but i think regardless it's going to be good i think license players are going to look the best and then i don't think the academic creations are going to look bad either so i think it's all going to be good bro if i make gameplay videos with real match commentary will my channel monetize i think it's fine I think I have seen channels who does that. But it's a lot of work. Why would you want to do that? Give it a try and see. I think mine I did one for 2005 match India versus Pakistan. I did the real life commentary from there and edited it. So I was able to monetize. Hey Snowy Gaming, thank you for joining. RTX will support. Yes, RTX is support is there, but I'm not sure which platform it is available it's available for ps5 it's available for series x it'll be available for pc i'm not sure about the older consoles how do they make big how do how do they make very high graphics because they have the tools that's what that's what they do So that's their job they are a game developer so 
as every generation comes they need to step up they need to have uh, better they need to make better games better looking games better playing games and they need to come up with innovative ideas yeah i've already told you uh, what's this guy's name brodo gaming bg that's what you can make it uh, the if you are asking based on my experience you can monetize yes but don't put any ipl matches don't do that yeah i've watched the whole thing i think i watched it twice so as i was saying i i, I also helped a bit on the uh, on the interview preparation so he had posted on the forum planet cricket and i had given him some some questions and then some feedback suggestion so he did ask some of the questions which i had given to him like cross play was one uh, about covid i had asked him asked him about uh, what are the other things i asked him about uh, simulation versus arcade i think that question i had asked him or oh, i had given him to ask so i think he shortlisted that and then i forgot which are the other one so planet cricket i was i was talking to him right before the interview as well so it was good now i think the overall the interview was well done and especially that's he said it's the first time he did that so very well done going to quickly check on who and all participated <coughs> so i know kiran wanted sniper shan akash made so three people i think it's just three people so just three people how to participate shari yeah just let me know if you want the code just tell me that you want it so the code is for the nets challenge practice uh, mode in cricket 22 and you can use it excuse me for your playstation excuse me so if you have ps4 ps5 you can use the code on your console and then download and play it so just mention in the comment that you need the code and just give a reason why you why i should give it to you Yeah, just tell, just put it in the comment saying that I need the code, and say this is the reason I need the code, so that I can track who are the people who's asked for the code, and at the end, based on who's given the best answer, I'll give the code. early
good shot all ideal <coughs> so the stream's going to end at 9 pm so anybody who wants to participate put your comments enter your comments so that i can consider you for the giveaway will there be new zealand real stadiums i think there will be yes so the stadiums comes along with the teams so there will be licensed stadiums as well So anyone who's want to participate in the giveaway yep snowy gaming because I'm a cricket fan I love cricket 19 and looking forward to cricket 22 I'm a very big fan of you and um always supportive that's a great response snowy gaming So tune in just check my uh community post I think by uh, within the next couple of days we would have a we would have a winner and I'll reach out You guys, whoever wins, can give me their email address, and I'll email the code. So thank you for participating, Snowy Gaming. How many new batting shots? How many new batting shots? I think there's quite a few. Uh, there are few which is missing, uh, like the straight off drive, like straight drive. One is missing, but otherwise they have covered everything. edged so snowy gaming is the fourth person who's taken part so what i'm going to do is i'm going to shortlist one person from every stream i think that's going to what i'm going to do and in the end out of the best from the three will get it or i'll i'll shortlist people from every stream not just one whoever i felt is the best one or two responses then i will i'll do to get the code uh yeah to get the code you just mention in the chat that you won the code and why i should give you the code so give a reason and tell me that you won the code and by the way this code is only for playstation you can only use it for playstation and it's the net practice code so whatever i'm playing right now you can play it on your console so i might shortlist one or two from this stream and then we'll continue it Yeah, thank you. So we have one more participant from this stream. So just let me know the reason. Just put in a reason as well because that's how you get it. Okay, that's a compelling reason. Good. So anyone who wants to take part in the giveaway, mention in the comment section. So Yeah, mention in the comment section bro Rashid girlfriend leaving him he crying. My name is Aditya. Thank you Aditya for joining the joining the stream and taking part. So stay tuned just check my community post. I will announce the winner in the next one or two days. Okay, this is your sister's profile. Okay, good. Rashid girlfriend you mean Rashid Khan the cricketer why is he crying I'm from India
Kolkata Gaming Boys, good. How are you guys? Oh, how are you? Thank you for joining the stream. Your friend Rashid. Oh, your friend Rashid, is it? Okay. I thought Rashid Khan le girlfriend left him. Okay, I'll give you the instruction on how to use it as well. So you go to the uh, you go to the uh, redeem code option and then you can redeem it and then you can download it. So I'll help I'll help whoever gets the code or if in general also if anybody wants help, you know. Canada, I know. Yeah, I know Canada. Coming in 2050, is it true? No, it's it's false. It's never coming. Even if it's coming, they will announce it like two, three years in advance, not in 2050. All right, so I'm giving away the next uh, challenge code for PlayStation. So if anybody wants to take part in the giveaway, let me know in the comment section. Tell me that you need it and then give a reason. I know Hindi as well, yes and uh, let me know in the comment section and give me a reason why you need the code so got some really good responses so far we'll be shortlisting in the next two to three days so join the stream tomorrow and day after i think thursday the game the game when it's going to be releasing uh, which is supposed to release on 25th instead i'll be giving away the code so that whoever doesn't whoever hasn't ordered the game yet they can at least play that game till the game releases Yes, I know in the so Kannada. Yeah, okay. Lion has asked to speak in Kannada. So Kannada, yen matar beko. And Hindi, kya kya bo bolu mein? Hindi mein kya kya sunne cha raha hai? So Hindi, Kannada done. Uh, where is PlayStation and Big Big Fan? Two December ko release hoga bro. Yes, it will. Ask Rashid to play games, he'll be fine. Malayalam Tilandini Parayam ho. Parayam. Because I never... Yeah, I got it. Aditya, I got your... Uh, yeah, I got your comment. So you're part of the giveaway. So you just have to say, Cramstar, I want the Cricket 22 patch. Cricket 22 Nets code is what I'm giving away. So you just let me know if you want the code and why you should get the code. Yeah, I speak a lot of languages. I speak a lot of languages. I, I know Tamil. I know Kannada, I know Malayalam, I know Hindi, I know Nagamese, and I think that's it. And I know a little, little bit of other languages as well. I know five languages, lol. What's your natural language? Nala arke. What's your natural language, lol? So I I normally speak English because of work and because of everything else. So I speak in English. I stay like I know all the other languages. So the giveaway is the net score challenge. Anybody who wants to take part in the giveaway. Yeah, Hindi. Hindi also I know.
I think I'm going to shift to Cricket 19 for a while. So I think today's stream is going to end here. So I think the poll also said, yeah, uh, Dimapur and Koima. I've been to Dimapur and Koima. And I've been to, I've been to one more place. So I have to take part of giveaway. Yes, yes, you are part of it. Shashang HT Games, thank you. Are you satisfied with Cricket 22? With the Nets, I am satisfied. But the expectation is high now. I want to play the actual game to say if I am completely satisfied or not. With the Nets, I am fine. Nets to Nets comparison, this is an upgrade. Bit to PC gamer, where are you from? I think I might stream for another five minutes and then we'll wrap it up. So whoever has taken part in the giveaway, thank you. Uh, I've made a note of your names. Uh, do take part in the streams in the coming days as well. So the winners will be announced in two days. So by I'm guessing by 25th, when the game is supposed to launch, I'm gonna do the give. Uh, I'm gonna announce the winner. What is the giveaway and how to take part? Rajan, yep. Uh, so the giveaway is for the Nets code, Nets challenge code on PlayStation. So if you have PlayStation, you can uh, take part in the giveaway and. What you need to do is you need to mention in the comment section here, chat section here that you need the code and you need to give a reason why I should give you the code. Oh, you're from West Bengal. Okay, good, good. Footwork can be still be improved. Everything can be improved still. But we'll have to look at it on the kind of work they have done so far. Like the the limit is endless. They can go on improving. Batting can be 100% ahead. But I have only PC. Okay, that is sad, Rajan. And everybody who's watching who hasn't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. And whoever is... Um, taken part in the giveaway you need to stay you need to be uh, subscribed Rep reply tada yendada one day sir those who have participated need to watch other stream also yeah i think you can you can join and see what other people are commenting as well how many people are participating and all those things so it'll be interesting or if you come up with a better reason you can join tomorrow and give the reason as well my first live after subscribing a channel after yeah i think it's been a while i think yesterday i did i did a live stream uh, sunday i did a live stream but not much people turned up <coughs> your expectation so i've kept my expectations low because every time you expect a lot, you tend to, tend to get disappointed. So I've kept my de um, expectation in check. So bowling action, I'm thinking 15, 10 plus 5 plus 4. I think at least 20 in total. 20, maybe. I think 20 actions we should get. Six. <laughs> so anybody who's watching right now and who hasn't subscribed to the channel do subscribe if you have already subscribed like the channel or like the video and if you've already done that take part in the giveaway
नागालैंड पे दिमापुर प्रीमियर लीग खेलने गए थे मैं मेडसी फीमा भी गया था ऑसम ऑसम ब्रो यू स्टिल प्लेइंग बिग एंड डायरेक्टर टोल दैट वी विल हैव एट पेस एंड टू स्पिन न्यू एक्शंस या दोज आर द न्यू वन Twenty actions of only licensed team? No, no, not licensed team. It'll be all together. It'll be close to twenty. They said ten new. I, th I think we already have close to ten already. So close to twenty. Twenty actions of license. Yeah, Desham one no. No, I was a little bit shocked because last night I read the news that they'll give soft copies and people can print, but then all of a sudden. this announcement so bit of a shock no i am actually happy i'm actually happy they changed it because i'm busy on um, i have work on 25th 26th so i would have missed all that fun and action so now i'll be part of it asian teams players action so for that they need to license the players so i don't know if they'll get the actions otherwise So I hope they get at least one or two. They want money. BCC wants money. They're not going to do just like that. They'll try and make. They would have quoted them very high. But imagine they're getting BCC license. That's it. so we're almost towards the end of the live stream session today so whoever joined thank you whoever has taken part in the giveaway thank you keep a note of the community posts i'll be leaving more news and updates there and uh, take part in the live streams coming up as well ha uh, malinga that's that's one yeah that's what i'm not sure if they will add without instead सीडीज तो मार्केट में आएंगे होंगे दैट्स वॉट आई एम थिंकिंग समबडी विल गेट अ हैंड ऑन द सी डीज इन द नेक्स्ट टू डेज येस इट विल दे विल कीप एडिंग द लाइसेंस बिकॉज दे नो इट्स इट्स अ गुड थिंग फॉर दैम बिकॉज पीपल नॉट मेनी पीपल वुड वॉन्ट टू स्पेंड टाइम डाउनलोडिंग टीम्स अरेंजिंग द लाइन अप एंड डूइंग ऑल दोज थिंग्स पीपल जस्ट वॉन्ट स्टार्ट प्ले मूव ऑन सो इफ दे कैन गिव लाइसेंसड प्लेयर्स license team they'll get more customers so basic funda is that so like how they expanded from zero teams to two teams and now how many teams we have we have five main teams and then we have cpl teams bbl teams and the 100 teams so lot of players and lot of teams now All right any last questions you guys have let me know but i think that's would be it for today's stream yeah i think that also depends motion capture mocap matters on who's able to replicate but even there are normal player people in the crowd also they can replicate like bumrah's action i've seen kids doing it All right so that's it guys thank you all for joining the stream it was nice uh time spent uh do subscribe to the channel if anyone hasn't but if not see you all tomorrow uh do keep a tab on the community post i'll be updating when i'll be streaming or what are the updates on the uh the giveaway that also will be updated in the in the uh community post so thank you snowy thank you aditya and all the others who's taken part in the uh, the giveaway
थैंक यू टेक केयर एंड गुड नाइट